Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking today's Dread of the Rose report. The Thompson Bowling Arena, Knoxville, Tennessee. Why am I bringing that up? Well anyway, they're advertising Daniel Bryan for Monday's Raw. Uh, they wrote the following, as they witnessed the return of Daniel Bryan when he answered Stephanie McMahon's demand to relinquish the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So, I uh, suspect it might be there on tape, maybe. Not sure, uh, but anyway, I don't know how they can uh, have him relinquish it, but he hasn't defended it yet. I mean, he hasn't refused to, and uh, he's got 30 days. He's got to, you know, at least um, have a match every 30 days. But I guess you can do whatever you want to in the storyline, and you can do whatever you want while you're Stephanie McMahon. I like to be Stephanie just for a little bit, but uh, for other reasons. Hey, there's a lot of fear over Vince McMahon before the uh, WWE Business Outlook conference call on Monday morning. Wasn't good. It said that Vince feels that his management team, not including uh, George uh, Boreos, though, uh, led him to believe that they would be getting more for their TV deals. And uh, there was some concern over major changes uh, being hand down, handed down by Vince, but uh, haven't heard any of the departures yet. And as noted, if Vince uh, isn't happy, things are going to happen fairly quickly. So we'll find out. Then um, uh, there's more stuff going on, too. That we don't know about. I do know there there's another law, uh, uh, not a lawsuit, but another um, a bunch of attorneys looking into uh, questionable activities. So we'll see how that goes. All right, people in uh, within WWE were actually joking last Friday that maybe these financial troubles will mean the WWE network goes away quickly, but uh, that's highly unlikely to happen. However. There is a feeling that the network isn't producing subscribers as quickly as Vince would want it. And all I gotta say is, duh, you're never supposed to be satisfied with what you got when you're in business. You want that extra, but can't really fib about it. Alright, oh, Bill Goldberg, he's got an interview up with um, Jim Ross on the Ross Report that's online. And Goldberg confirms that he did have recent talks with WWE about returning to the ring, but they didn't go that far. Goldberg uh, did let the company know that he was interested. And regarding a future uh, feud and return, Goldberg named Roman Reigns, Triple H, Brock Lesnar as potential stars that he would like to face, but said he would let WWE decide those details. And he said he would always have unfinished business with Triple H, and Lesnar, who would be uh, interested in facing Reigns, though, just because they played uh, college football in Florida. Could be good. I don't know if I'd really want to see a Lesnar versus Goldberg again. I don't know. Goldberg noted that uh, he does not watch WWE these days and hasn't in years, but here's uh, about sort of things uh, you know going on with wrestling on Twitter. He uh, still talks with some wrestlers, including Lesnar, but uh, they never talk about wrestling, though. Happy birthday to UK indie star Andy Simmons, uh, 30 years old, and one-time NWA World Champion, The Sheik. I say NWA World Champion, The Sheik, 40 years old, nothing to do with uh, the old-timer. And um, WWE Hall of Famer Mr. T, 60 years old. And today would have been the birthday of WWE and uh, WCW Triple Crown Champion Chris Benoit at 47 years old and his wife, Valet Nancy Benoit, or woman, 50 years old. Same day. There was talk about releasing a WWE uh, 2K15, the video game, around WrestleMania 31 time to take advantage of the corporate synergy that WWE has around that time. Uh... It appears that's not the case, as Amazon is now advertising the game for PS3 and PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360 to be released October 28, 2014, early. Maybe they need the money. GameStop and, and uh, EB Games have reportedly telling customers that the date they have been told is also October 28th. So pre-orders are supposed to begin around uh, May 1st. Get your money together. What is today? May 1st. I thank you. All right, WWE uh, Chief Financial Officer George uh, Boreos will participate in the 42nd annual, annual J.P. Morgan 
uh, Global Technology, Media, and Teleconference in Boston today. Um, he's not going to be talking about the stock market, I wouldn't think. Shouldn't. And Zach Ryder and Gabriel, <laughs> Justin Gabriel, they both been uh, playing Adam Rose's bunny in recent weeks. They got to feel great about that, you know. At least they get in front of the camera. And for those wondering why the final, uh, uh, not the final season, but the season finale of the Total Divas, with the main part being the Daniel Bryan B. Brie Bella wedding is airing up against play, Payback pay-per-view on June 1st. It's because of the Kardashians. He will be getting uh, the second half of the current season with Keeping Up with the Kardashians on June 8th, so the current season of Total Divas needs the wrap before that date. Uh, in Total Divas, I don't think it's on the network. I remember right. UK wrestling legend uh, Danny Boy Collins is uh, backstage at WWE taping in London. Is well, was backstage yesterday. All right, the uh, Adami and O'Reilly Law Firm announced, which I was telling you a little while ago, in a press conference today that they are also investigating WWE for possible securities fraud. The firm says they are looking into inaccurate uh, statements made by WWE about their business practices financial statements and prospects inaccuracies whenever you're predicting now the current stuff you know the accuracy of that has got to be should be right on the line but the predicting the future you can't be accurate on that you just can't anyway WWE superstar uh, John Cena Batista Bray Wyatt and uh, Hall of Famer Bruno San Martino Diva Page will be attending the Wizard World Comic Con August 21st to the 23rd at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center, Rosemont, Illinois, special VIP packages are available. I would be packing and driving right now if I knew Lana was going to be there. Monday's taping episode of WWE Raw in London drew about uh, 3.7 million viewers. This is way down from last week of uh, 4.0 million viewers. So, my question to you, I don't know, you know, this, this is... This all comes down on us, on the internet, but Raw would have done more, I suspect, you know, their normal uh, viewership, if uh, it wasn't taped or on a delay like it was. Because we ruin, I think we ruin SmackDown by giving out the spoilers, telling people what's going to be happening, and then uh, people don't watch it. I got a feeling that... Uh, SmackDown could do as much uh, viewership-wise as Raw does if it was live. And we're not giving out the answers. We don't know who's going to win for a fact. So, I don't know if that's good or bad. Do you guys rather hear the, hear the spoilers, or would you rather watch the show and just be surprised? That'd be nice for once, wouldn't it? Thanks for clicking, you guys. i got to go.